I thought somebody over here wanted. Oh, yep. I had a super weird thing happen to me the other day. I went on a trip to buy Dingo ingredients and it got dark before I could make it back. So I was walking through some gloomy caverns alone, getting this really creepy vibe, and suddenly I heard these screams like I'm not I'm not doing those. <laughs> Kizu sounds, basically. It really scared the life out of me. I panicked and ran home as quickly as I could, dropping all of my stuff on the way. Please, can you go find my stuff for me? I know exactly where I left it, and I'll have Dingo ready when you're back. Alright. Getting back the groceries. Oh, wait. Guess what? I've gotten so good at making... Uh, yes, you've leveled up. Okay, cool. Right. Welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. This game has been kind of easy. Which isn't a bad thing, by the way. It's perfectly fun. It's just hasn't been of as hardcore of an introduction into the game as past titles. But if we go off that logic and we go back to like Freedom Unite or something where it's killing you left and right. <laughs> even when you're new. Well, especially when you're new. But anyways, I am really liking this game so far though. So I'm kind of excited to get back into this. I have been using Sword and Shield a lot lately, but if I remember correctly, yeah, one of these is a Baryoth, and I want the speed and the weapon that I've kind of gotten used to to go against him, because he hits pretty hard. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this one first. Keeping the food upgraded is always a good idea, so... Let's knock this one out real quick. Oh. Cool. Trial by fire. Torrent's most dire. The dead beckon atop their pyre. That got dark really fast. Alright. Oh my goodness, look at that. Not the not the not that. <laughs> dog really <laughs> the volcano the volcano is what I'm trying to point out <laughs> all right this entire map is undiscovered so I guess we're going on an expedition <laughs> who knows where this stuff is I guess to the effect of what I was saying earlier I just uh, I didn't finish everything I wanted to say about the difficulty in the game um I know I've tried to stay away from spoilers in this game as much as possible, and I'd say I was like 95% successful. I don't know. Oh, well. Alright, we're going this way. I don't know most of what's up ahead. What's ahead. But I do know when Valstrax was added to the game. Oh, wait. We're skipping one. When Valstrax was added to the game, a lot of people were saying that was the hardest fight in the game at the time, and... But I saw a lot of people saying that that's saying a lot because there was a lot of hard fights in the game. So, when I say the this game has been easier than the past ones so far, it has actually been easier, but I don't expect that to last. I'm fully expecting things to get a lot more difficult. Probably right on the cusp of high rank. That's normally where things start to get difficult in Monster Hunter games. At least for me it is anyways. Because I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm not the greatest at these games. So, because I know most people say the game doesn't actually start getting hard until about halfway through high rank, but for me it's more like the beginning. I'm kind of lost. Though it is- oh, there it is. 
So it is kind of funny. I was playing Monster Hunter 3 the other day. And... What was I fighting? I think it was a purple Ludroth. Royal Ludroth. Purple Royal Ludroth. Goodness, spit it out. And I didn't do it hitless, but it was very, very close. And like right afterwards, I went against a couple of other things and it was the same deal. And I was like, wow, I'm actually getting pretty good at these games. And then I hopped into World and got my butt kicked by a Toby Kadachi. And then I played this game <laughs> and got my butt kicked again by the big fire crane bird thing. I forget what it's called. I know it starts with an AK, like Agnesum, something like that. Is this the last one? No, it's not. So it's like, I'll jump in Classic Series and I'll be perfectly fine. I jump into Gen 5 and things are just so different that I start getting tossed around a lot. Which may sound like a complaint, but I'm actually happy about that. I like the challenge. That kind of looks like it sends me to the surface, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Yep. Definitely. Well, that's cool. Alright, there's another one over- oh, right there. And then we have one more. I'll be really interested in what G rank is like. Because I can solo G rank in classic series. Oh, hey look, I found it. Yoink. Which is not a brag, by the way. There's a lot of people that can solo G rank. It's not- it's not a flex or anything. But when I get in Gen 5 games, I get my butt absolutely handed to me by, like, high rank things. So, I wonder how bad G rank will be. Or I guess it's called Master Rank now. Hmm? Alright, let's do the berry off. Be careful out there. I want to see this thing. I do have World Iceborne, but I've never actually made it to the Iceborne DLC. Get your money, Dongo. So, I've never seen the new Gen 5 Baryoth, and I hear he's a lot bigger. Baggy, you don't stand a chance. Oh, that's a Zuchi. I'm not gonna survive this, am I? Today might be the day that I start feeling the difficulty curve. Something got hit out here. Oh my goodness, it's a Baryoth shell. Dude, holy crap! Um, they definitely made him bigger. Like, 33% bigger. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh, that's gonna be a... yeah. Oh my goodness, he's fast too. Alright, well, let's get our butt kicked. Oh, follow up? Not this time. Alright. Well, oh, that's not the move I thought it was gonna be. 
Ah, oh, dodged a little too soon. I gotta remember, I actually have a tripwire, whatever they call it, not tripwire, wire bug, wake up. Like, I can use a wire bug to get up faster. I always forget I can do that. Of course, I'm from the old school Monster Hunter series, so... There's a lot of new things I forget about. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, I should have stayed down. Where is he? Oh. He left already. Sweet. This is gonna be a long fight at this rate. I always take these stink minks and I don't think I've ever used one before though. <laughs> well, it looked cool. I thought it was gonna do. All right. Oh my goodness. There's a thunderstorm outside right now and it keeps lighting up my whole room with lightning. It's too bad it wasn't thunderstorming in the game. That'd be pretty immersive. <laughs> Time to move. Caught his wind pressure. What's he doing? Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay. That's not good. Oh my goodness. You're an amazing dog. Palamut. I know it's technically a dog, but... <laughs> I just want to call it the right thing. This bad timing. Surprisingly, no. Oh, come on. Uh oh. I have a button spamming issue. When did his fangs break? Must have been when Sek did his mount thing. Alright, he was already enraged. So is this like a, a second enraged form? You can do that. Are you ready? 
<laughs> Are you ready? Immediately gets destroyed. <laughs> Ooh. These lunge moves are making me nervous. I cannot believe that didn't hit me. Same thing. Damn it. Didn't get the last hit off, but oh well. This one's gonna hit hard. I do not mind using the Superman dive against his ultimate, because I have a feeling that probably hurts a lot. <laughs> Alright. I need to sharpen... Man, it's really coming down out there. Is Barry all seeing me? Uh oh. There's that roundhouse slash that I keep doing. I didn't know that existed until this game. And apparently it actually existed in older games, too. It's like the first game where I've actually used Sword and Shield a lot. It does so much stinking damage and takes the same amount of time as a normal hit. I'm always trying to make sure I can at least get that one in. I wish you could turn the monster first, so you could actually hit it against the nearest wall. Maybe you can, and I just haven't figured out how yet. too soon. I cannot believe that didn't hit me. Oh. Okay. A little close there. That's why I killed you. Whoa. What? Oh my goodness. I don't think he was anywhere close to dead. Alright. Well. Cool. That's not what I meant to do, but hey, why not? <laughs> Alright, well. That wasn't so bad. Okay, well, actually, I am using Defender stuff. Just because I'm trying to cut down on the low rank grind. I expect things to get grindy once we hit high rank, so that's not a problem, but grinding in low rank is no fun. He is so much bigger. Come to think of it, I left the other area without carving his tail. Oh well. <laughs> well, this is photogenic.
Can I hide? Yes, I can. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, you can toggle the filter on and off. Nice. Alright. I did get a spike. And a frost sack. I don't know why I got an Teka antler, but sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to try another weapon. Switch things up a bit. Keep it fresh. Why not? Of course. I had a rather unsavory, non-civil individual tell me in a very rude way. <laughs> I can't emphasize this enough. Um, to look up weapon tutorials. I'm like, why? Why would I do that? I'm, I'm like, I'm playing Gen 5, which I'm not used to by any means. But whatever. I don't care if I suck, because I do. Alright, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Not that one. I almost upgraded with the wrong thing. Let's use this. Alright. But it's like... Have you ever just, I don't know, played the game for yourself? Figured out what works best for you instead of running off to YouTube looking for tutorials to copy somebody else? Like, try to figure at least one thing out for yourself. I know there's people that look up the tutorials just out of curiosity though and just see if there's something they can improve in their own playing. That's not what I'm talking about. It's just annoying when people go out and just copy how somebody else plays the game entirely. Like, learning from other people, learning from tutorials, that's one thing. But just to do it to basically cheat off of somebody else's homework? Really? <laughs> but I personally, I don't like looking up tutorials for anything. I like to just learn. Learn my own way of doing things. And teach their own. And play it however you want to. But... You know, let me play it the way that I want to. <laughs> and if you don't like it, then go watch somebody else. It's fine. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. It's okay. You can watch somebody else. It's <laughs> best of wishes. Hope you find another channel that's more to your liking. But anyway, um, what am I going to do? We have a Volvodon. We have a Toby Kadaji. Eh. Let's do Volvodon next. I think we're probably pushing about a half hour of record time. So I'll try to we'll try to do this one. And then we'll do the Kobe Dada the Toby Kadachi, rather. <laughs> and the urgent in the next episode. Austere mountains, devoid of reason and laws. A rounded mass descends, made of fangs and claws. Tumbling, tumbling, closer and closer. And when it unfurls, your time will be over. This seems like a giant demon armadillo. Oh, and ant eater apparently. This seems kind of a funny story. I forgot to grab this stuff, so. Monster Hunter 3, when I first saw it. But, okay, anyway. When I first saw it in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I mean, its movement is so much like Arzuros. I was like, oh, it's the volcano version of Arzuros. It has harder armor or whatever. And then it squashed me flat multiple times. <laughs> Kept rolling over me. It's just funny because it's like, it's a monster you wouldn't think was that imposing. Yoink. And yet, it's actually really, really dangerous. 
Make some really cool looking armor too. Alright. I haven't used hammer much in this game. I used to use hammer quite a lot in Monster Hunter 4. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say the hardest part is gonna be getting used to the whole wire bug thing. Oh, is he rolling forward? Yes, he is. Okay. See, after my... Oh! Okay. Alright. He moves around a bit more than he did in Monster Hunter 3. A lot jumpier. That's just gross. Oh, I forgot he can spit. Is that paralysis? I forgot he could do that. Get away. Oh my goodness. That has a long range. Um, I'm not hurting for health right now, so I'm not gonna bother using a deodorant. Never mind. My cat just carried me. Ouch! Took that to the face. It's like gym class all over again. Ouch. Oh. Oh my goodness. When he gets mad, he gets mad. Oh, it's a wire bug. No. Oh, I realized as I was standing in front of him, it's like, this probably isn't a good place to stand. <laughs> Alright, if you can stop doing that, that's kind of getting weird. It's bad enough you try to whip things, it's worse that you try to whip them with your tongue. I'm getting farted on. Nope, we're good. <laughs> Oops, I meant to hit the charge button, not the run. Oh, he left anyways. That's not a good thing for me, is it? The fact that he's got, like, buffs. Oh, okay, never mind. That was a very good thing for me. Oh, I thought he was... Uh, I didn't know he was about to claw. Oh, I deserve that. <laughs> Wait, when did I get poisoned? Oh, I see. Uh, the flinch moved him just out of my range. Oh. Oh, I thought he was coming back. Alright, let's see if we can finish one of these. Oh my goodness. So much damage. Dog. Okay. Dog got farted on. You're gonna need a bath later. Of course, so did I, so I'm gonna need one too. Oh, I stunned him. I was like, why isn't he moving? Gonna knock you over. Not 
plate. Is he leaving? Yep. Are you licking the rock? What are you doing? Well, I'm just gonna start doing this then. We'll see. <laughs> well, I got the, uh, the final hit off, so worth it. Ooh. Four? No? Okay. I am very, very lucky. I don't know why, because he's not exhausted. I don't know why he didn't get a paralysis shot off there. Ooh. Okay. Thank you. The cat got ugh, the cat got the fart too. No one ever said monster hunting was gonna be a clean job. Oh, that's claws. I'm getting it. Nope, we're fine. Can I still hit his head here? Yes, I can. Jeez. Can I get him? Yeah, but he didn't flinch. There it is. Ah. Uh, try to die for a minute. Dodge a little too soon. Oh. Okay. Um, while he's gracing the world with his wonderful fragrances, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, wait. Nope. Never mind. Let's mount. My goodness, Froggy, you're overpowered. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Mine now. That rug is gonna run back to his clan or pack or whatever. It's gonna be like, guys, you have no idea what just happened. <laughs> Good job, buddy. He's okay. All right. Poison or paralysis sucks. Claw, jumbo bone, rick rack. I think the rick racks are the ones that are rare. Oh wait, that's right. They all have a rarity rating, don't they? So there you go. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, let's go see what this armor looks like. I want to know if it looks any different. Are you foraging or upgrading? The Valvadon and the ba and the Barioth. That that is a little different, or maybe it just looks different because it's in HD. But still, it's 
Very cool. cool looking. Nice. Pretty Melbra. Perfect. Yep. That looks as cool as it ever has. Oh my goodness. Critical draw, critical eye, quick sheath. Oh my goodness. I really, really like this game so far. I kind of like it more than I thought I would. My heart still lies in with classic series. I really, really like the classic series. <laughs> Gen 5 is really cool too, but... Or new gen, or however you want to say it. Oh, you know, I really like World 2, but I like Classic more. So I kind of thought it would be the same case with this game, but I'm really liking this one so far. It's like a really cool hybrid between the two. The, the new age stuff and the old school stuff. I really like it. Alright, anyways. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. Share it if you want to. I'd really appreciate it. Sub if you want to see more. Check out my channel. I do lots of things other than just this. And uh, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.